So we do know that hypertension is a very common complication of Cushing's disease, um, depending on which study you look at and research we've done as well. Uh, probably upwards of 60 to 70 percent of dogs who have Cushing's will have some degree of hypertension, although generally in the mild to moderate range. Very few dogs will have blood pressures in excess of 180 millimeters of mercury systolic. There are exceptions to that, but those are often dogs who have adrenal tumors or other underlying disease that leads to elevations. In a dog that's older, which is what most dogs are going to be with Cushing's, that degree of elevation clinically probably has very little significance. Um, especially when you figure that the average life expectancy of a dog treated for Cushing's is maybe three to four years. So that is very unlikely to be causing damage. However, there are certain reasons to control their blood pressure, and that is if they have coexisting disease that could be worsened by hypertension. And so the two things I really look for are do they have pre-existing renal disease? So again, proteinurium, not as the only factor, but especially if they're azotemic then I think you need to control their blood pressure and if they have pre-existing cardiac disease because that increase in blood pressure means increased workload for the heart. So I will generally, if it, blood pressure is in the range of you know, under 180, I won't necessarily treat these dogs. However, if it's above that, I will. I will treat it um, you know, in the range of 160 to 170 if they have underlying renal disease or underlying cardiac disease.